All right, welcome on back, folks, to another episode on Near Automata. We are at the resistance camp. We are ready to continue with the storyline, which we have been putting off long enough. Let's go and talk to uh, the resistance leader here. I'm not even going to say her name because I always botch it. I think it's just an enemy. I think that's how you say that. Oh, okay. I see that one. That's why we're trying to get the resistance leader out. Okay, so we are ready for the missile supply mission. Um, so the nice thing, since we are, we've already done this once, we could just fast travel right to it. And this time around, I have done all of my side quests, which means I won't be failing anything. <laughs> which is nice. My, my... 2B run, I'm like, shit, shit, I just failed three quests. This is not good. And then, like, after after I uh, got to the end of it and got into this, I'm like, well, okay, yeah, that's right. I can I can just do it as do it as 9S. なあ、兄ちゃん。なんで本なんか読むんだよ。知識は人を豊かにするからな。データで転送すればすむだけだろ。自分で読まないと心の中に入ってこないだろ。分かったよ。うん。なあ、兄ちゃん。なんだ。
I don't know if it was the Forer's Coliseum or if it was the um, Gambler's Coliseum, but one of those Coliseums gets you uh, the young protagonist's outfit from uh, Near Replicant. I think it looks really good with the Neil's mask. I don't know who I was trying to hack, but I guess it'll work. Ooh, you were about to jump on me. You were about to do it. Stay behind the wall. Haha. Uh -huh. No, no. Oh, you would do this. You would do this. You always do that to me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we just barely got it. Now, where's the other guy? Oh, he died. Uh, at a girl to be. Whoa, hey now, hey now. So let's make you explode and do some damage. Do some damage. Hello. I am Nines, the king of games. Get out of here. Oh, boom. Thank you. Plug and chips? この辺りの機械生命体は概ね排除できましたね。マップデータおよび飛行ユニットを転送する。以上。司令官って本当に人使いが荒いですよね。そういう。Oh yes, the flight unit. It's time to rock and roll. Let's go. I have bullets for everyone. Bullets for you, 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 and you. Yeah, I'll swipe. Oh, 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 shit, shit. I want to shoot more things. No, don't get rid of this already. It's like, Eevee, use tail, tail, tail whip. No, 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 no. Down Simba. Bad, 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 bad. Get out of here. Sit out. Oh, that was close. I am the black sheep. Here we go. We have tail up again. Let it oh no, I I thought I had my missiles. I thought I had my missiles. Oh. oh man, I love this mission though. I love seeing the carrier. Oh, 
Missile time. Bullets for everyone, even you to be. Just kidding. I would not do that to you. You would more than likely just dodge it anyway. Well, hello. I'm Goliath Flyer. Wow, this thing's getting decimated. <laughs> that thing didn't stay alive for very long. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have to realize that I'm level 65. <laughs> That thing came in at level 40. <laughs> that is how much I grinded. <laughs> at 25 levels. Higher than the story. <laughs> it's your boy. That's what he does. It's Nessie. Well, hello, Nessie. We meet again. Yes, it's a machine. Obviously, what what would it be? No way in hell that's a fish. What are we doing? Don't I fly off here? And it's like, just swing! Just swing! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yeah, so this is when 2B goes after those, and then I go after the, the thing, right? Or do we... I didn't think 9S was part of it, but going after the generators. I thought he flew off to get... To get the, uh, the rockets. But to get the, uh, the mortar or whatever it is. I have bullets for everyone. And a laser sword. Oh, this is what makes me so excited for like armor core coming out. I mean, obviously it's going to be a lot crazier combat, but this, I mean, this is still pretty damn cool. Hopefully they have like a laser sword. Like, they better. But, for those of you that don't know, I don't look into my games before I get them, so, uh, I haven't seen, like, anything on Armor Core, like, any, like, weapon showcases, or really even combat, so, I'm going into that 100% blind. Oh, am I supposed to hack? It says hack. Why? Why are we hacking? We can just blow them up, they're level 20.
I wonder who the commander had to fiddle with to get that strike. Ooh, hello. I yeah, see these guys are my level. Oh, is this where I leave? Oh, really? Really? That was dumb. <laughs> Literally got out of cutscene for a single split second and I almost died. Here we go. This is where I leave, right? Yep. Oh, we both leave. Okay. I don't remember 9S being a part of this. Oh, yeah, that's right. He had to hack the, the mortar for 2B to shoot it, right? Really? You'd think it would have more defense than that. For a giant ass mortar. Didn't do nothing. Perish. Boom. The thing has legs now. Okay, that's where that's where I take off. Okay. And we take off, we go and do some other things, and then we end up in the copied city. Because you know, your boy uh your boy gets, gets kidnapped. I have you now. Oh. Yeah, play Star Wars. Away from me. Set away.
Oh, you guys are just running right into it. It's great. Oh, no, 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 no. Kamehameha, bad for me. Bullet hells are just so great. I really appreciate. Really appreciate bullet hells. Makes, uh, makes me feel warm and fuzzy and diabolical inside. I don't know. Whenever I see a ton of bullets heading my way. Missile control. Kido. Hatsa Jumbi. Missile control. Kaisi. Yeah, see, it's cool seeing this side of the thing. Uh, of the. Uh... Oh. Do I control this thing? What? I control it? Oh, that's cool. I'm coming for ya. Oh, I'm gonna get ya. Oh, right in the mouth. Right in the... I'm not gonna say that. Say that? I'm not gonna say that. That's very inappropriate. We're not gonna say that. There's the commander. Yeah, I can never tell, like, if she is on our side, if she's not, like... I don't know. I think she is like the type that like walks the gray line. I honestly can't remember a lot of stuff with her. I know, I know you find out a lot of stuff later on. I just can't remember. I can't remember exactly what. Ooh, odds. All right, is this hacking space? Yes, this is. How did I? Because we are good. This is how we got here. Find myself in a bizarre memory storage area, stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth, massive interconnected network. I've never seen anything like it. It must have been created by the machines. So then, what am I doing here? I am 9S, that's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory may have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories, myself, my... Okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. Her recovery program begins to fill in the blanks in my memory. It drifts back like missing letters filling out a word. The bunker, TB's plan, a colossal machine, life form, the last resort, missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of the blast. It halted most of the safeties the network had in place. 
Took a while, but the recovery program managed to restore most of my mem memory functions. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. Looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info hidden here. It all seems pretty random at first, but on closer inspection, I learned how it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history and philosophy, but what's really strange are the records of machines stored next to those. And politics category are records of the machine's own governmental endeavors they'd tried all sorts of things absolute monarchies republics democrat democracy sorry and that wasn't all they also engaged in other schol scholarly pursuits such as philosophy mathematics science and social criticism it's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline almost as if how that ended on uh uh, uh what <laughs> a big hole why are they trying to copy people i dive de deeper into the records and find no in indication of the machines creating new cultures or values they only imitate human behavior strange things if a unit fails it fails in exactly the same way next time for example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government, it just forms a new di dictatorship. Or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again. And again. And again. And again. They keep performing the same beha behaviors, they don't ever learn. I mean, that's, that's their, their programming. Of course they don't learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and an evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity, and more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It is almost as if the object, the objective is failure itself. I sense a change in the data, some kind of movement. I hone my perception and hold my breath. I I hear something, a distant vo voice. I am not... Oh, androids. There's something there, something clearly intelligent. What is it? What is... What is so intelligent? We must find out. Let's let's keep going down this path and see what we can we, we, what we can learn. Do this. Okay. I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. Their voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in the image of a man. We machine life forms have evolved. He said. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a f new form of existence has been born. Lies, nothing but lies, from he from mere machines. Adam laughs, and yet you android androids claim to be alive. How very odd, you are puppets who lack even your own free will. No, you're wrong. His words flow through me as they, as though they were poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? Boy, how am I wrong? I'm we're perhaps you have a will after all he chuckles perhaps you have desires now you see boy the true meaning of life is is hatred <laughs> you're wrong a vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart you were wrong the more you try to hide it the more that darkness grows wrong 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 Gosh, this is it's like obi-wan to to anakin you're wrong you don't do it anakin i have the high ground oh wait this is the way i came from you underestimate my power okay let's keep going this way keep going keep going keep going keep on going this last one? I couldn't tell. I think it's the last one. All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites are what give our lives meaning. Some seek beauty, others serenity. For me, hatred is the... Hatred is the what? <laughs> I'm not like that. 
Uh, oh, yes, you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. Yeah, this is this is felt. This has put me in my feelings. You want to obtain everything. Listen to the demons, 9S. Listen to the demons. You want to be loved by all. Uh, I don't know about that one. You're thinking about how much you want to. <laughs> I fucking can't. I gotta I gotta screenshot that. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about how much you want to fuck to be, aren't you? <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Reality stained by lies. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it. Over overflowing desire. I'm I'm not like you. Your true self. Oh. Nine S, you are you are so my chemical romance, my guy. <laughs> Thinking about how bad you want to fuck to be, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh shit. That was such a fun fight. We don't fucked him up. It's like my heart. Oh wait, that, that was that was that was kind of edgy and dark and oof. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just over here dying. Just, just end it, Tubi. Just end it. Just, just let me die. This episode is going to go a little bit longer than usual, but it's okay. We kind of flew through this. I think on, on my 2B, 2B route, we made this into like two different episodes. This one, <laughs> this one, we just kind of like ran through it. Oh. Uh, Actually, you know, I think this is going to be a good place to wrap up. So I will go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.